Hey friends, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I have a wig review for you today and a quick comparison. I'm going to show you Caliente by Belle Tress in the color Mocha with Cream. That's the wig on my head. I am going to compare it to Caliente 16 inch. Stay in style much longer. So if you want to know more about this low density, no permatees style, then stick around. I would like to thank name brand wigs for sending me Caliente so I can show all of you. They've actually sent me both of these wigs and I reviewed the 16 inch Caliente a long time ago. I'll make sure that review is linked in the description in case you want to check it out or learn more about the color, which is Cookies and Cream Blonde. And I'm so grateful for their partnership because showing lots of different styles is so wonderful because it helps so many. You never know what you're looking for, so to be able to see lots of reviews can help you start to figure out what will work best for you. Plus, the more I learn, the more I can help, and so I'm really grateful to them. There'll be some details in the description and a coupon code to save you 30% on this or nearly any other wig that you can purchase from them. All right, you guys, let's take a look at this one from all sides. This wig is super, super low density. There is not very much hair on this at all. I'm not worried about seeing the cap. Belle Trust does a really good job with making sure that you're not gonna be able to see the wefts, but if you need a little bit of volume in your wigs, this is not the wig for you. It has such low density. I mean, just look at that, you guys. There's just not a lot of hair on here and no permatease, so there's no poof up here. It is super, super flat to the head. I have a fiber poking me in the eye. <laughs> and so for those of you struggling with the wig journey, because every wig you put on your head has too much hair and looks too poofy and too wiggy to you, Bell Tress does make a lot of low density styles. They're pretty well known for making wigs with little to no permatease. There's never any traditional permatease. Sometimes there's a little bit of crimpy fibers, but nothing that gives volume. And low density is kind of their thing. So if I get asked all the time, what's a great low density wig? Right here on my head is a great low density wig. Now I will say that sometimes I have found with Belle Tress wigs, the, my biggest uh, I don't know if I would call it a complaint, but something that I've noticed is they do tend to really densely knot the parts on them. So this does have a mono part, but you really can't see down to part. I also find that I have a little bit of trouble getting rid of like a little bit of a zigzag on their wigs and to get a real defined separation so that it actually looks like a part line. I have a video showing how I plucked the part and used a hot comb on my, I have two Beltress wigs I've done that on, Lady Latte and Bellissima. And so I'm gonna include a link in the description to those videos. It will help you so much if you learn a few little skills to tweak your wigs. You know, wigs are not made for you and your particular preferences and head measurements. And so you will find often when you get a wig out of the box that there are maybe a few things you wish were different. I have tons of videos, I call them Tip Tuesdays, and I teach a lot of things that you can do to make your wigs your own. So if you ever get a wig like this and you just, you're struggling with that part line, plucking it just a little bit and then using a hot comb to smooth down once you've got that part defined will make a world of difference and you'll see it in those videos. Now this is a heat friendly wig and all Bell Tress wigs are heat friendly, so you can use regular hot tools with these wigs. You wouldn't want to do that with a regular synthetic, but since this is heat friendly, it's appropriate that I tell you how you can fix it if you want to. Now this has a ton of lift in the front. As you can see, it has a pretty pronounced cowlick. And I do find that often with Beltress wigs, not always, but it's kind of hit or miss. Again, if it didn't have that, you could use a hot comb on this, but if you want to cut bangs in your wigs, this one's going to be a challenge. If you get one with as much of a cowlick as mine has, because it just wants to keep springing back up because of that cowlick. So if you're a bang wearer and you cut bangs in every wig that you wear, just use a hot tool to flatten that out a little bit and it should be okay. Let's take a look inside this cap. So it's got, like I said, a lace front right there. 
It's not an extended lace front. It basically ends at where this parting space is, and then it goes over a little bit further on the other side. There's that mono part that's a left going over to the right mono part, and then extended nape, bra strap adjusters, soft ear tabs with bendable stays, and the rest of the cap is open wefted. I cannot really get over how lightweight this piece is. It is just so lightweight. I mean, really, just a throw and go. We have got a good lace front as well. It looks great. They did bring a lot of those highlights up to the front, as you can see. That's actually becoming more and more common. It does help so that you can't really see the dark knots, but on highlighted pieces, it can really make the front look a lot lighter than the rest of the wig. So just keep that in mind with your own preferences for color. I know when I first started, heavily highlighted wigs were really a struggle for me. I was coming from wearing, uh, having dark brown hair. And now I love it, but sometimes it's a process. Now I mentioned that these are heat friendly fibers. I love Beltress fibers. They feel amazing. They're silky. They look really realistic and they don't have a shine to them that regular synthetic wigs can often have. It's just really one of my favorite heat friendly fibers are Beltress fibers. So if you're looking for something that feels great and is really realistic looking, Beltress has great fibers. I will say because this is heat friendly, you will want to make sure you understand how to care for heat friendly wigs. I have a video where I talk about that. I will link it in the description. Because of this length, I wouldn't worry about it. It's not going to rub up on your clothing a lot and therefore I don't think this is going to be difficult to care for. You may have heard that heat friendly wigs are a challenge. I would say in the longer lengths that can be true, but I love bob length and above heat friendly wigs. As a matter of fact, I choose those even over human hair, which I do love because I find them so easy to wear and they don't take a lot of extra care. They're great. Let's talk about fit. Bell Tress is known for run, running big. I would say they run more average large in their measurements. And so if you have a super petite head, Bell Tress is going to feel really big on you. I have a pretty petite head. I have a 21 and a quarter circumference and my over the top of my head is practically child size. When I wear a Bell Tress wig with a wig grip like I have on today, it's no issue. It's comfortable. I don't feel like it's going to fly off my head. I do have it cinched in some. And so that's how I deal with it. I do get extra cap up here, but not a lot. I would say this feels like it's running a little bit smaller than the typical Bell Tress wigs. I find sometimes the shorter wigs tend to feel a little bit smaller, but my tip for you, if you have petite head measurements and you'd love to wear a wig like this, get a wig grip. My favorite is the hair grip and that will really help secure your wig. You can also sew a few wefts together and that can help make the wig a little bit smaller. But if you have more of an average to average large head measurement, then a bell truss wig might be something worth trying because their caps are known for running big. All right, let's talk about this color, Mocha with Cream. I'm just gonna say it, guys. This is one of my favorite wig colors of all time. I love this color, but it has a very, very dark root. So if you don't like a super contrast between the root and the rest of the color, or you don't love super dark roots, then this one might not be the color for you. I, though, personally have loved it since this was the first lighter color that I ever wore coming from a dark brown. And that, that might be why I'm so comfortable with this root, because my bio hair is super dark. But next to this color, it looks almost black. It's not black. It's like a two, I think. It might be a four, but I think it's a two. So it's a super dark brown and it's not a warm brown. So when you get rooted wigs, sometimes the root can be warm. Sometimes it can be cool or neutral. I would say this is more of a neutral root. It is not, so it's, so it's not pulling red on the top, which I really appreciate. And this color has just about everything going on. It's got light blonde. It's got auburn. It's got some strawberry. It has some medium brown. I mean, it just literally has just about everything going on. It really reminds me of a caramel color, a caramel color. I don't know. Do those of us in the upper Midwest all say caramel? I've always said it that way, but I know a lot of people say caramel. Um, it's just this gorgeous, warm, 
caramel color with some blonde highlights and you can kind of see those ashy blonde highlights right up at the front there it definitely reminds me of a little bit of a really light auburn but more of that just caramel color rich caramel that you know hasn't been cooked too long that kind of color it's really hard to describe but I absolutely love it. Let's get outside so that you can see this color outside and I will tack on that quick comparison at the end so you can see what the 16 inch looks like with this one. Thanks for watching guys, stick around. Okay friends, here we are outside. A little bit windy and a lot a bit cold, <laughs> so cold. I dread this time of year when it comes to making videos because it can be really rough out here but we gotta do it. You just gotta be able to see this outside. I haven't filmed my review yet. I'm sure I'll mention it in my review, so this may be a repeat, but this is one of my favorite colors. I know not everybody loves that dark root, but I do. I love the contrast. I absolutely love this color. But I understand it's not for everybody. Not everybody likes a super dark root on a lighter color. Thankfully, we have lots of choices. All right, friends, time to go inside. Talk to you soon. All right, let's take a look at the 16 inch Bell Tress Caliente. So again, I will link this review in the description, but Bell Tress is known for coming up with multiple links of a similar style. I have seen, I've done reviews of Peerless that comes in multiple links, Dalgona comes in multiple links, and Caliente. They also have a hand-tied Caliente that comes with a fully hand-tied cap as well. So you really have a lot of choices. If you love this, um, this kind of a look that has these just really messy deconstructed waves with a little bit of a fringe in the front. So, you, so here's a great example of what I showed earlier. The, Cali, the, the shorter Caliente that I have has an incredible cowlick right here, like super cowlick. This one doesn't have that. So you can see that it does have a little bit of a fringe. Both of them have this. You just really couldn't see it in the shorter piece because the cowlick, again, you can take heat to these if you don't want it sticking up quite as much as it is. If you want it to look more like this, then you can use a hot airbrush, a hot comb, and you can smooth that down. The good news is it's not gonna hang in your face like this one does. And I actually have to play with this and keep sweeping it back so that it doesn't go into my face. So this one maybe could use a touch with a hot comb to get a little lift here, whereas the other one has plenty of lift. But essentially, the style is the same, this wave pattern is the same, and it's the same super lightweight, low density, no volume or poof. It's just all really great. You just have a shorter sister to this longer sister. This one is overall about 12 inches at the longest length. This one is 16 inches. So one question I get a lot is, you know, do I know of any sister styles? People maybe don't want someone to know that they're wearing a wig. One thing that you could do if you started out with this 16 inch, then if at some point you decided you want to go shorter maybe for the summer or something like that you could actually get the shorter and it would look really the same just like you got a haircut so fun fun to do and also even if you don't care that people know that you wear wigs if you love the style you can get it in long and you can get it in short and then you can change it up i do love beltress long wigs for ponytails and updos because of the low density they make perfect updo wigs really truly um some of my favorite updo wigs are bell truss wigs because they're just so easy to put up and i love the color selection that they have so keep that in mind all right guys hopefully this helped give you some ideas let me know if you have any questions thanks again to name brand wigs you guys are so wonderful and you support our community so much and i'm grateful talk to you guys soon
Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.